colossal, stupendous. One might even go so far as to say he's mediocre. I give you that paragon of pep and personality, Sleepy Lagoon. Greetings, one and all, Sleepy Lagoon signing on. Well, we're finally continuing our Yes journey. We listened to the entire The Yes album. Uh, some copyright issues here and there, but hopefully uh, they will all remain up for the foreseeable future. But we're moving on to Fragile, and uh, it will be one song per video as usual. If you're in the future, there will be a playlist. Now, with every video of mine, I like to be fully transparent. Uh, out of all these songs that I'm seeing on this album, the one I, of course, recognize is the very first one, Roundabout. I have heard Roundabout. I've heard it many a time on the radio, on just regular listening. It's a song I know. It's a song I've heard. But since it's the first song, and since it's such a great song, I will be listening to it in this video. It will be the first time I'm hearing it on my new headphones here, and really just sitting down and listening to it. So I think it's worth it, and we'll get the full experience that way, huh? <laughs> so, roundabout. 1971. Let's go. Three, two, one. Hearing that on these headphones. I'm just looking at the cover art. Such an iconic cover art. I've seen this all over. the harmonies so so much clearer than listening on speakers Ooh. 
There was like a harmony going down in the left channel. The song I've always thought of is like traveling somewhere, like exploring. And this part, this part always, it's like a dangerous, like you're you're exploring and you're in danger, you know. Like this sounds like a dangerous part, you know. Like your ship out at sea. And you're in a storm. I love the dr the percussion. So tight. That drum. Those keys repeating in the background. Or synth or whatever that is. <laughs> and we revisit that guitar. In and around the lake, mountains come out of the sky, they stand there. Twilight fall before my love, I'll be there. Bass and drums just keep everything so tight. are out of this world. And then 
you just return? And then you just return to that guitar. What an incredible first song for the album. I'm looking here at the Wikipedia. We got John Anderson, of course, lead and backing vocals. Steve Howe, electric and acoustic guitars, backing vocals. Chris Squire, bass guitar, electric guitar, backing vocals. Rick Wakeman. Now, Rick Wakeman wasn't in the previous album, correct? Hammond organ, harpsichord, mini moog, grand piano, mellotron. Bill Bruford on the drums, percussion. This is... So yeah, Rick Wakeman joined Yes for this album. Yes made Fragile in five weeks, partly to resume, resume touring quickly so they could finance a new set of keyboards for Wakeman. The album features a solo track written by each member. Ah, wow. I'd, oh, the album. Okay, the album. I, I read that in my head as the song. I was like, what? <laughs> Wigman's track, Cans and Brams, that's the next song, right? Yep. It's an adaptation of the third movement of Symphony No. 4 by Johannes Brahms. Play down electronic keyboards. <laughs> okay, well, let, let, let's not go too far ahead. We'll read more about that later. But Roundabout. In its original form, the song began with acoustic guitar, which Howe played on a 1953 Martin, but the group soon thought a more dramatic opening was needed. This led to Wakeman playing an E minor chord, alternating with a C chord on the piano that were recorded and played backwards. Oh, creating an effect that Howe described as if it's rushing towards you. Editing them correctly, they talk about how hard, I mean, yeah, 1972. How thought the piano added a sense of drama, intensity, and color to the song. An early idea had the song start with what Anderson described as something of a Scottish jig on Howe's acoustic guitar. <laughs> that would have been a very, <laughs> that would have really changed the feel. <laughs> Squire played his bass guitar parts with an overdub that was one octave higher than using Howe's Gibson electric guitar mix with his bass track. To complement Squire's playing, Wakeman played arpeggios on his Hammond's C3 organ on his right hand while playing Squire's bass parts with his left. Oh, gosh. <laughs> These guys. What? <laughs> These guys. For the song's slower section, he plays a mini Moog synth and flute sounds on a Mellotron. Yeah, I didn't think that was a real flute because I, I heard the, um, I think it was in the right channel. I heard what sounded like a flute, but it didn't sound real. You know, it sounded like a synth. But she gave the section a Strawberry Fields mood. I could see that. In a, the, oh yeah, the in and around the lake and you hear the boo. That's right. That is a Strawberry Fields mood. I fully agree. The song originated in March 1971 when the band were on tour promoting the Yes album. Traveling from Aberdeen to Glasgow and after a gig in Scotland, they encountered many roundabouts on the way. Anderson claimed maybe 40 or so, which inspired Anderson and how to write a song about the journey as they sat in the back of the band's transit van and include the roundabouts and the surrounding mountains into the lyrics. Anderson had smoked cannabis during the trip. That's <laughs> that's I'm, I can't believe it. So everything was vivid and mystical. <laughs> Anderson added, it was a cloudy day. We couldn't see the top of the mountains. We could only see the clouds because it was sheer straight up. I remember saying, oh, the, ma the mountains, look, they're coming out of the sky. <laughs> and began to write the song's lyrics in his notebook in a freeform style of minimal edits. I just loved how words sounded when I put them together. Within 24 hours, the band had arrived back home in London, where Anderson reunited with his then-wife Jennifer, which inspired the song... The song's lyric, 24, Before My Love You'll See, I'll Be There With You. A lock they passed as they neared Glasgow became the idea behind the line in and around the lake. Upon, upon their arrival to their hotel in Glasgow, Anderson and Howe began to put the song ideas on their recorder. In August 1971, Yes regrouped in London to prepare material for the album Fragile, their fourth album. Early into the sessions, keyboardist Tony Kay, right, he was the original, 
Tony K was fired from the group over his lack of interest in learning more keyboards to expand the band's sound and was replaced by Rick Wakeman. That's very interesting. Hmm. So Tony K was the original keyboardist. The group moved to Ad Vision Studios in September 1971 to record Fragile with Audio Engineer Eddie Offord, he sounds familiar, as their co-producer using a 16-track recording machine to layer their ideas, at which point Hal later said the song became pure magic. Roundabout. John Anderson, Steve Howe, Chris Squire, Rick Wakeman, he's finally in, Bill Bruford. I said it last album i'll say it again in the very first and i'll probably wind up saying it in almost every video but these guys are just incredible musicians this song i know is their one of their most commercially uh successful songs and i i, I don't think uh that i don't say that in a, a way to degrade it i think it's it deserves that success i mean it's such an incredible song it's a very tight song. It's a very well thought out song. That's the feeling I get from it, at least. Like I said, it always reminds me of going on a, a journey or an adventure. Like you're sailing on the open sea and you don't know what you're going to come across. That's the feeling it always gets to me. And then there's sort of a, there's an intense part. You know, you, you come across some danger and you, you got to work through it and it's you're getting a little nervous. But then... That Strawberry Fields section that uh, I believe Rick Wakeman commented on, it's like a nice little relief. Like you're finally past it and you're going off into the bright horizon and you see a, a beautiful island you're coming up on, you know, sort of your reward for getting through that. What a great song to start off Fragile with. We got... Eight more songs to go, and we are now in uncharted territory. <laughs> Although next it looks like it's uh, an electronic version of Brahms. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're in for something. If you would like to continue with me on this Yes journey, please subscribe. Please give me a like because we have so much music to listen to. I have so many songs I want to hear, so many artists I want to hear. It's a long journey to go. I am Sleepy Lagoon. Thank you again for joining me. Signing off.